Tranexamic acid is a synthetic derivative of lysine, classified as an antifibrinolytic agent. It works by inhibiting the breakdown of fibrin clots, thereby promoting hemostasis. It is commonly used to reduce bleeding in various clinical settings, including the following. Trauma-related bleeding. Surgical bleeding prevention in various types of surgeries, including cardiothoracic surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, obstetric, and gynecologic surgeries. In the treatment of heavy menstrual bleeding. Hereditary angioedema. Liver disease. Hemophilia adjunct therapy during dental extractions, and in the treatment of disseminated intravascular coagulation. Tranexamic acid inhibits fibrinolysis by competitive inhibition of plasminogen activation. It binds reversibly to lysine binding sites on plasminogen, preventing its activation to plasmin. Plasmin is the enzyme responsible for breaking down fibrin clots. Tranexamic acid also weakly inhibits plasmin activity, further reducing fibrinolysis. By stabilizing fibrin clots, it reduces bleeding without directly affecting platelet function or coagulation factors. Tranexamic acid can be administered through various routes. Intravenous route allows rapid onset of action and is commonly used in acute settings, such as trauma or perioperative bleeding. Oral tranexamic acid is used for conditions like heavy menstrual bleeding or prophylaxis in hereditary angioedema. It has a low bioavailability of approximately 30 to 50 percent. Topical tranexamic acid preparations are also available and applied locally to surgical sites or wounds to control localized bleeding, such as dental extractions and minor surgical procedures. It is also available as solutions, sprays, or gels. Intramuscular route is less commonly used. Tranexamic acid is minimally metabolized and most of the drug is excreted unchanged via the kidneys. The most common adverse effects of tranexamic acid include gastrointestinal disturbances such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, dizziness, and headache. Rare but serious side effects include thromboembolic events such as deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, visual disturbances, allergic reactions such as rash, pruritus, or anaphylaxis, and hypotension, especially with rapid intravenous administration. Absolute contraindications for the use of tranexamic acid include active thromboembolic disease, such as deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, or cerebral thrombosis, acquired defective color vision, and history of hypersensitivity to tranexamic acid. Relative contraindications include renal impairment, history of thromboembolic events or clotting disorders, and concurrent use of other antifibrinolytics or procoagulants.